snow leopard is considered as a sacred totemic animal to many communities. Snow leopard is the only mammal in the world who lives in such high altitudes. It faces an unprecedented amount of threats, habitat loss, poaching, mining, a loss of its food supply. Despite all of these difficulties, it's still there. I truly believe that Snow Leopard is an elder. He shows us how humans should be. I currently serve as the executive director of the Baikal Bird Center for Indigenous Cultures. We focus on the revival of traditional indigenous knowledge of the indigenous peoples of the Lake Baikal area. And that includes intergenerational transfer of knowledge. We work on the reintroduction of the Aboriginal livestock breeds back to the buried landscape. Of course, we're part of the Land of Snow Leopard Network. We're one of the founding members. <laughs> The work of the Land of Snow Leopard Network is rooted in indigenous understanding of the sacredness, cultural and environmental significance of the uh, snow leopard and its ecosystems. So one of the things I think about Maria is that she so clearly sees her path as being this bridge. And over the years with the Land of Snow Leopard, She's really gained the respect of these elders and shamans within the network. These elders and shamans are people who connect with the ancestors, and the ancestors guide them in decision-making. Maria leads the innovative work of her fellow thinkers with all of her heart and spiritual power. This work on revival and intergenerational transmission of ancestral wisdom and practices is without a doubt her service to the heavenly powers. We are a strong network of more than 100 people from five regions, Mongolia, Republic of Buryatia and Russian Federation, Republic of Altai, Russian Federation, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. Maria has been quite indispensable. It's very difficult to move a network like this forward. For one thing, we're working in five different languages not even to mention the regional ones. The difficulties also include 75 years of Soviet repression, the effects on indigenous communities of colonization, emotional and psychological effects of colonization. And the biggest challenge and the threat is that our indigenous youth are losing interest in indigenous ways and means. Indigenous people, we are guardians of 80 uh, percent of the world's biodiversity. If you lose this intergenerational transfer of the way of life, of, of culture, of spirituality and, and reverence to nature, then we're not only going to lose indigenous people, but we will lose the entire world. Norbu Lama, who is the Buddhist spiritual leader in Buryatia, has had his whole Soyat community area declared as a region of special resources, which is a way of protecting it. He goes with Maria into the schools to talk to the kids about the old traditions, about how the snow leopard is sacred, why it should be protected. In Tajikistan, in the high mountains of Pamir, there were more than 12 cases where snow leopard attacked local communities, livestock, animals. But instead of seeking revenge on snow leopard and killing him, the local communities showed incredible acts of compassion and kindness, and they released the snow leopard way back into the habitat. Thank you. I met Maria about four years ago, um, and I was immediately impressed with her. After 40 years of working with the snow leopards, that's what's going to make the difference, to have local communities appreciating and being the, the leading guardian or steward of their uh, immediate environment, including this cow. The young 
Indigenous woman like Maria has both the grit and the passion to take on the leadership of this organization, I think speaks volumes to who she is as a person, um, to the urgency of the situation. The Bright Award is an environmental award given to individuals who are dedicating their careers to increasing sustainability and conservation of the environment. The Bright Award Committee was most impressed by how Maria has formed strong bonds with a large and diverse network of local people. She has helped them implement a wide variety of projects to help improve the economy, health, education, and environment of the areas they serve. This award is both honoring Maria's past achievements, but really focusing on her future. And it's going to enable her to concentrate on achieving her full potential as a leader in biological and cultural conservation. This award is a recognition of Indigenous peoples as guardians of Mother Earth. It's also an acknowledgement of Indigenous values, wisdom, and ways of life, without which the survival of Mother Earth and the entire humanity would not be possible.